And um, we're doing a video response to homeschoolers from a teenage perspective. Um, well, my mom first pulled me out of school three years ago from a very um, uneducational school district, as I would call it. Um, it really wasn't all about schoolwork there at that school. It was basically being in the end crowd, trying to fit in with everybody. And I'm not really um, a popular person, to say the least. You know, I'm not um, really the in crowd type of person, so you can already see it wasn't going to work out at that type of school. Um, the educational system there, it was, it wasn't all that great, at least. I mean, it's like the teachers themselves were following off of uh, how to teach your students how to do this type of thing. Like, it really wasn't interactive or anything like that. I mean, yeah, you're going to have some things here and there that you do with the class. as if your class is obedient enough to do those activities on the net, or the teacher is just not going to let the class do it. So, I'm a hands-on person, so I need to be able to touch things or at least or see things. For one, like verbally, yeah, I could probably process it, but it works better if I can see it because then I can memorize it and learn what to do. For, um, math, math right? when I was in school, math would probably be my hardest subject, really. Being said, it's because my multiplication was four. Well, not just my multiplication, pretty much everything I had was pretty poor. And it wouldn't help if one week we're doing fractions and the other week we're doing decimals or something like that and that type of nature like it will never stick with one thing before I get one thing down we're down to the next and then you're going to have a test and that you're going to fail that test because for me at least it is way too quick and uh, that was not going to work out for me so then this event happened and uh, my mom kind of just like pulled me out of the old school district thing and decided to home school me with no teaching experience whatsoever. But uh, I don't know how she do it. Maybe um, online resources, some reading, and yeah, she's definitely a good teacher going on. All she needs to know is just practice really but for me she does she does a, a pretty good job at what she do. I mean it's not like one hundred percent the best teacher out there but I don't think there is no one hundred percent best teacher out there because you're gonna come across a student that you're gonna have to really put forth the effort into teaching. So what I'm trying to say is being homeschooled is probably the best thing, the best way me, to get your education. Because I think of it like this. Think about it in the 1800s when there was not that many schools to be around and the only education you had was from trial and error. But of course you're gonna have a mother that teaches you how to do things. And basically, that's the best way because you're dealing with, you know, real world problems. So that's the best way to put it. So what I'm trying to say is, is um, when you become homeschool, you basically gonna have to straighten up and learn because back when I was in school, I missed a lot of very big load of work that I was supposed to learn at a very early grade level. And now I have to work work to get build myself all the way back up with all the things I missed.
which is going to take a lot of work and too much time. And sometimes you don't have time on your side. And eventually, if I was to go back to do everything, I would not, you know, graduate on time like an average person. Person, I would graduate a lot farther away than my original graduation day. But yet again, I caught up on everything. It's basically just a time thing. So, so um, I'm going to end this video now and maybe make a part two. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.